Good afternoon, Oak Grove. Happy Thursday. Welcome to another installment of our midweek content series here on the church's YouTube channel. You know the drill by now. I just pop in in the middle of the week to say hello to you, just to keep the church on our consciousness the other six and a half days of the week outside of Sunday morning. So thank you for taking a few minutes to join me today. And uh, what am I going to talk to you about this week? Well, um, there's a number of things going on and I am sitting here in the corner of the sanctuary right now because I thought this place kind of provided a little bit of an ironic contrast in uh, current events here at the church because on the one hand, over my shoulder right here right now, here is all of the Halloween candy that you folks have donated by the hundreds and hundreds um, for the uh, Green Valley Park Trunk or Treat this coming Saturday. I am told that we are up to about somewhere between 1,400 to 1,500 pieces of candy, <laughs> which is awesome. Um, I have to thank especially the Hoyman and Hessler families that have been uh, painstakingly labeling all of the candy. Becca went and printed up labels for the candy uh, because we were going to use the Trunk or Treat as an evangelistic opportunity. So we've got labels with Oak Grove's contact info on every single piece of fourteen or 1,500 pieces of candy over there. So it is in the corner of the sanctuary over here because that's where we've been dropping it off. And then right over here over my other shoulder is our funeral pall which was sitting in the sacristy in a box. Uh, I took it out the other day to stretch it out and let it dry, or uh, dry, not dry, to let it stretch out and breathe a little bit to try to get some of the wrinkles out of it. And then um, Patty Sheck took it home the other day and steamed it uh, to try to take some more of the wrinkles out of it, and I appreciate her doing that very much. Um, and so, you know, it's kind of an interesting contrast in parish life, sitting right here in this spot right now, that we've got this, and then we've got this going on at the same time. The funeral, Paul, of course, is getting ready for Ed's uh, funeral service tomorrow morning uh, as I record this on Saturday, or, um, geez, Thursday afternoon. I was about to say Saturday. I don't know what's going on with my brain today, Oak Grove. Don't, uh, bear with me. I don't know what's going on. But uh, it, it has been a week. Um, certainly much more so for others than for myself, although it's been a little bit of a week for myself, too. Um, but it's an interesting contrast in parish life here. We're about to put this Paul to use tomorrow morning to say, say goodbye to a very beloved core member who our congregation is going to miss very, very much, who has faithfully walked with this community and served the people of God for a very long time in a lot of different capacities. And at the same time, we're getting ready for this celebratory and joyful thing because we're going to have an opportunity to hang out with a thousand plus kids on Saturday afternoon, you know, we've been told for the Green Valley Trunk or Treat that, you know, they generally get at least a thousand kids that go through that. So we're going to have an Oak Grove vehicle there at the Trunk or Treat. Ken Gehring has generously offered to let us use his truck, which apparently has a built-in generator, I guess. Uh, I don't know how that works, but uh, uh, we can use that to be able to power our strands of Halloween lights and the sound, the noise machine that we're going to use. Um, Barb is going to meet me out there, and we're going to decorate, and we're going to hang out, and we're going to pass out candy in the name of Oak Grove. And so, you know, this going on, the preparation for it at the same time as this, just shows us the way that God is walking with us through every phase of our life. Um, and, you know, people have been faithfully coming to the church throughout the week to contribute to both this and to contribute to this, you know. Uh, as far as the funeral goes, you know... Um, Bill and Sharon were here this week. Patty was here this week. Uh, Dan and Gloria have been here this week. They've all been faithfully setting things up, getting the sanctuary ready for the worship service, getting the social hall ready for the luncheon afterward. Um, and then, of course, as I mentioned, the Hesslers and the Hoymans were uh, here working on the candy. Um, it's just a contrast of the variety of different things that go on in parish life. But I found kind of a, an interesting poetic beauty in that, that, you know, God is here walking alongside us in the earliest phase of our discipleship journey when we're trick-or-treating and when we're only four feet tall and when the world is still new and wondrous to us. God is there in that phase of our journey, and then God is there with us in the very last phase of our journey as we get 
ready to say farewell to life on this earth and as we prepare to head off to the church triumphant. And the funeral pall that we put on the casket is a white cloth in remembrance of our holy baptism. It is supposed to be a remembrance of the baptismal garment that we wore on the day that we were baptized and that all of God's promises were appropriated to us. The same white pall goes on the casket for everybody, regardless of whether they're rich or poor, male or female, young or old, whether they're from this side of the tracks or the other side of the tracks. Everybody gets the same pall because we are all equal in holy baptism before Christ Jesus. And so... Um, you know, here's a contrast in the ways that, you know, whether we're in this phase of life or this phase of life or anywhere in between, God walks with us through everything and our church family is here with us through everything. And, you know, I didn't really set up the shot this way on purpose, but even as I'm sitting here looking at my own image in the phone screen, because I've got the image mirrored, the stained glass windows behind me are nice and lit up and, you know, uh, the church is there with us. God's family faithfully walks with us through all those things. And I just wanted, if nothing else, if you get nothing else out of this video while I'm sitting here rambling about this stuff, I at least just want you to see the work that people are doing this week to get ready for all the various different things that happen here. Um, you know, the church is not closed at, from Sunday, you know, from Sunday 10 o'clock through following Sunday 9 o'clock. This building is open and there's stuff going on here as the people of God faithfully get ready for all of the ministries that we have going to walk alongside of folks in whatever phase of life they find themselves. And so I just found, even as we are, you know, getting ready to say our final farewells to Ed, and that is a sad occasion, I still found kind of a, a beauty to the contrast between this and this, and the fact that God is always walking with us in that lifelong path of discipleship and doing so through the ministries of our church family, who has been coming during the week to get these things ready. That's all I wanted to wax about today, Oak Grove. Um, for those of you who will be coming to Ed's funeral, I will see you tomorrow morning. For those that are not able to make it for whatever reason, uh, I hope I'm able to see you at the Green Valley Trunk or Treat Saturday afternoon. Please come drop, drop by and say hello. Otherwise, I will see you Sunday morning. Take care and God bless Oak Grove.